can't believe he's now 91 kilos. I'm 87, so he's, he's four kilos heavier than, than I am now. That's insane, that. Mate, crazy. How fast are you running still? So he's doing last week's at 3.30 paces. This is the latest race that I've done. And I think it just, it makes the anxiety build up. And all to get fueling right as well. I've never had to eat this much before a race. That's been difficult, but take as it comes. Excuse to eat a lot of food. Graham's just messaged saying, let's go. Fuck everyone else, get yourself in the zone, buzz and bow. You've prepped hard for this. There he is. What's up, you dirty British redneck? Mate, I'm just about to, I'm about to go in. You gonna smash? Mate, I need to, some, give me some words of wisdom. I think the most important part about doubles, dude, is the race is always won. Second half of the race. Most guys are gonna cash out too hard in the first half. We get so much work done on the farmer's carries, lunges, and row. But just do it there. Break up the burpees a lot. Yeah. And don't be afraid to throw some elbows. Those guys are pussy. <laughs> don't be a pussy, yeah. Hey, we're going to break the burpees into six or eights, I think. So it should be should be cool yeah, on that. But sixes, sixes are excellent. I'm ready to do them on in like 50 minutes or so. So I'm just going to go into the arena, start getting warmed up, and then it's fucking go time. And remember, dude, that people blow out pretty hot. Yeah. That first thousand meters in the skier is always done too fast. You're not losing if you're going five seconds slower than your competitors. So who are you actually racing with? Well, we're going to meet him with the ski egg. One last game, I'm gonna go in. Run away, run away from me, baby. 
Run away, let him not get crazy. I can't see, just run away. Baby, I got a plan. Run away as fast as you can. 24 7, 365. Pussy stays on my mind. I, 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 I did it. All right, all right, I admit it. Now pick your next move. You can leave or live with it. It could buy a train with that motherfucking top off. Split and go where? Back to where it knock off. High, knock it off. Leave and chop it off. Let's talk over my ties. Wait, just top it off. Hoes like poachers want to fly in your Freddy loafers. You can't blame them. They ain't never seen Versace sofas. Every bag, every blouse, every bracelet comes with a price tag. Baby, face it. You should leave if you can't accept the basics. Plenty hoes in a ball of nigga matrix. Invisibly set, the Rolex is faceless. I'm just young, rich, and tasteless. Pink. Never was much of a romantic I could never take the intimacy And I know I did damage First the look in your eyes is killing me I guess you knew an advantage Cause you could blame me for everything And I don't know how I'ma manage If one day you just up and leave And I always find, I always find something wrong You've been putting up with my shit just way too long. I'm so gifted at finding what I don't like the most. I did my first ever high rocks in December, uh, January this year. So what's that? Is that 10? About 10 months ago, which is funny because now it's so much improved. The first one I did with, with Zach George, I'll probably put the video up here so you can go back and watch it. Uh, I think I'm probably a bit lighter. I've obviously put on a good amount of like aerobic capacity and fitness and strength just from coaching with Graham. So I felt a lot better with the first one. I don't think I got, was it one minute one? Yeah. I think, I, I think it was and then today we got 56 minutes something. But this one was pro double, so it was good. The race was hard. I think my, my run time after the sled was shit. Like I just died, hit the, hit the wall with it and then run after that was crap and then I picked back up. And then just like in London, when I got after the row, the left quad just crammed up. Charlie basically kind of just threw like the last <laughs> there of the race. But as soon as the seven quad's gone, Charlie fucking came in it like fucking Superman and just saved us, mate. Saved yeah, the whole race. Kneecaps went to a different dimension on those <laughs> lunges. In the lunges, mate. I was screaming out like, get in the fucking hole. Go to dog places, lad. Go to dog places. Yeah, that, judge, that, that judge nearly Absolutely. sent us back as well. Yeah, she, she sent did. you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she was harsh, yeah. To be fair, 56.3 on that. Manchester track is good game. Yeah. I enjoyed it as well. It was good, mate. I'm grateful just to be able to run with quick people and have good people to run with and people to support you. Obviously, for me, this was like an emotional race. It's been a lot I've gone, been going on my life at the moment, and I'm kind of just like geared training towards that. So, for Charlie to come today and support me doing that uh, means a lot to me. And you know, there's some there's some great people in this sport. I think that's the thing I enjoy most is meeting people in the sport like Charlie uh, and some other guys we've met over the past couple of months. So he's a top guy, and you'll see more of this face all over the sport. Fingers crossed. What do you got next? Mixed doubles at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you might as well stay on this bike and yeah. race again tomorrow.